I was recently asked if it was possible to do a direct offline processing to a folder track. And the customer wanted to just apply a plugin like Magneto to all of the files in the folder. And a quick answer is no, but it can be done. Now we think of a folder track not as a group of audio files, but a folder track can contain many different types of tracks. So it could have a ruler track, we could have instrument, MIDI, markers, VCAs, sampler tracks, group tracks, etc., all within a folder. So if I wanted to do processing, you know, it would have to be able to process all of these different events. Now we could utilize the project logical editor to select all of the audio events within a folder for processing. And let's show how to do that. So we're going to go to our project menu. We'll select our project logical editor, and then we'll come over here to setup. And I want to open up the folder first. So we're going to set a pre-process command. So here I'm going to just choose to toggle the folder track. So we'll say toggle and we'll say selected track. And what I want to do now is we're going to choose our process and we're going to choose select. So I want to select audio files within the folder track. So I'm going to click insert and we're going to say media type is equal to audio. Now, if we do this, it will select all of the audio files, whether they're in the folder or not. So to differentiate and to select only files within the folder, we want to add another event target filter and we're going to say property and we're going to say is set to parent object is selected. So now if I have my folder track selected, it will select only audio events within the folder. At this point, we want to do two different post processes. So I will come here, we're going to do a select all. So if we have different events spread across the tracks, we can select all of the events. And after all the events are selected, I'm going to do a direct offline process. So we will go ahead and close our folder. And let's say I'm going to save this as a preset to start with. So I'm going to click here in my preset column and we're going to say save changes as preset. So I'm just going to call this uh, DOP for direct offline process on audio within folder. So now let's go ahead and hit apply. So what it's going to do is going to open the folder select all of the audio files within the folder. So we're going to have this folder selected. It's going to select all of the events on those tracks and then open the direct offline processing. So we'll come here, we hit apply. And if now I wanted to apply a plugin, we can see the direct offline processing has automatically been opened. We select our plugin. Our plugin is now being processed across all of the audio files on that particular event. And we notice that it's not going to do any processing on our ruler track, instrument, MIDI, our marker, our VCA, or our group channel. And as we can see, we've now done the processing on all of the events. And if we wanted to now just toggle that, we could choose to do the processing just on the selected audio events within the folder without having to do a lot of work. And once we go to our presets, and if we wanted to call this up again, we would come directly to our project logical editors and we could choose apply preset. And at this point we could just have this open and be able to do direct offline processing on any selected audio file. So as you can see, the Project Logical Editor is extremely powerful in speeding up your workflow. If you have found this video helpful, please feel free to like the video and to subscribe to the channel.